education is super important when it comes to nuclear weapons, educating the public, but also educating leaders, because leaders are the ones who make the decisions about whether they want to get nuclear weapons for their country or not, uh, whether they would order nuclear weapons to be used and so forth. Um, and in one way, the world has been very fortunate. Uh, nobody has used nuclear weapons again since the end of World War II, so the U.S. dropped atom bombs on two Japanese cities in August 1945, uh, and they've never been used in anger, as people say, never been used for, for a deliberate attack or a terrorist attack ever since then. Um, so that's, you know, it's getting close to 80 years ago, right? There's not too many people alive today who have much familiarity with what a nuclear detonation would really do. Uh, and they're so much more destructive, and they're destructive in so many different and novel ways compared to conventional weapons, that I think just being aware of the, the magnitude of destruction, uh, all the kinds of destructions that are caused, um, how, how almost impossible it is to do emergency response and, and help people after you know, an atom bomb goes off. Uh, and also long-term consequences. You release radioactive material into the air where it comes back to Earth as radioactive fallout. Uh, and if there's a sufficiently large number of nuclear explosions, there's a lot of good um, data that suggests we would enter into what some people call a nuclear winter where you would block out so much of the sun's light that it uh, would become almost impossible to grow crops and you would cause famine and starvation around the world. So the consequences are just so much beyond what any of us can imagine and it's very important for people to have that awareness of the consequences of nuclear weapon use.